McElroy ready to go at 12. Pin on top. Always difficult. It's all about where you hit this one. Goose left. Oh, it's a magnificent shot. Oh, oh. my goodness. Oh, oh, oh. What a shot. Anthony, 12 feet away. Greatness in those fingers. This is Rafa Cabrera Bayo. Found the sand at 17. Well out to the right, but he's played a majestic oh, shot from here. Yeah. <laughs> what a wonderful shot. In the, absolutely in the back door, isn't it? The most marvellous of twos. Well, Fitzpatrick, 213 yards to go. Pin tight, back right. You can't get this one wrong. Ten. More, more, go, 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 go. Oh, it did go. Look at this. Oh, so close to an albatross for Fitzpatrick. Yeah, that was pretty special. I think about the same as this shot as well. It's going to be pretty special, I can see. <laughs> oh, good call there. Very oh, good it. call indeed. <laughs> what good timing that was, huh? We've been trying to do that for years. You come in first time out, great call. At 18, Keegan Bradley. Oh, how about that? A little low cutter. He hit his window. Oh, a little unlucky. Come on, ball. Get back. Yes. This is the shot of the day. Keegan Bradley at 18. Adam Scott is one up, and he just escaped from nowhere. To Torbjörn Olesen, his second coming out of the rough at the fifth, asking for it to go. Hello. Oh, and it has gone as well, and the eagle lands for Torbjörn Olesen. What a move. So he climbs alongside Ramsey at the top. Outside chance for McElroy. Oh, look at this. He's really, they wouldn't do this in the tournament, I can promise you. Oh, here we go, here we go. Never up, never in, Roy. <laughs> a brave move to take on. Well, you know, if, if, I, I think if it had been a, a DP World Tour event, or, you know, a BGA Tour event, I don't think he'd have done that. I don't think. I may be wrong. But he was having a bit of fun there. And that's what they're here to see, These uh, the crowd here today. Great stuff. This was how Pepperell got to four under. His uh, third into the par five, 17th. A low slider chasing up the green. Oh. oh, what a read. <laughs> what a beauty from Pepperell. This is gruesome. So, come on, you're the supremo from San Tony. Well, what do you do? I mean, has he got his. He, I think he's going he's to have to play this off his knees, I think. You just there's no room to get him in there. Good strong solid base. It's just a lot of sand in that. He's got a strong top half too, Ali, which he's going to need here. This is all hands and arms. Excellent. I mean that is just world class. You could have got that dreadfully wrong. Romain Langasque, the uh, Frenchman who won in Celtic Manor. A couple of years back now. Hey, lovely stuff. In for an eagle three at the par five, 18th. Oh, that's a good way to do it, isn't it? Big <laughs> smiles, Frenchman. Well, he still has a birdie putt, albeit from distance and with the tear involved as well. He's had some magical moments, but he needs one here. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant from Hao Tong Lee. It always looked like a four, didn't it? Wow. I mean, are you kidding me? Yeah, this is tricky. 
Down breeze, firming greens. Might just have to use the fringe and just take a chance, really, at him here. Decent clean lie, but it's all against him. Loaded with spin. Oh, my word. Remarkable, truly remarkable. He's been very lucky, Rory McIlroy. He finds himself in the fescue, but he's in between two clumps of it. This is doable. He needs luck, but very doable. This is that's so high. This is just a great shot. Simply stunning from that for Rory McIlroy. So easy to fat this. Pretty easy to top it as well. It's a serious trap shot and did trap it. Perfect contact. This guy's got some game, that if you haven't noticed. Radar That's is silly. beyond belief. Silly. That is beyond belief, mate. Call the police, shouldn't be allowed. I, I think that's one of the best golf shots I've seen for a decade. That is incredible. Right, back to nine. And South Africa's Danny Van Tonda. From the uh, rigid left arm, a little bit of a loop at the top of the swing, but it's repetitive. That's all that matters. Oh, oh, you little beauty. <laughs> yep, it's in, all right. <laughs> well, Beerman off the down slope, 114 yards left to go. Pin well back. So. He does get a lot of spin, doesn't have to worry about spinning it back down the slope as long as he pitches it well up to the hole. Oh, straight in. Oh, he's holding it. Absolutely straight in. What well, an incredible eagle for Johannes Veerman. We were questioning the decision to lay up, but it looks like a good one now. Sometimes golf gives you a little bit back. 11 missed cuts in a row to this point. And he's got a hole in one in round three. And he wins the 20. Look at that special moment for him and his wife. Now, Shane was powered. This is an aggressive play with a uh, medal. Fairway medal out of the bunker. 2-4-9 to go. Made a lot easier by the wet sand. Sort of the clip should bounce rather than dig if he gets it slightly heavy. And he's got ball first, nipped it off the top, sounded like a great strike. Oh, is it ever? Are you kidding me? <laughs> that is unbelievable. <laughs> Classy golf shot, isn't it? Wow. If there's a better shot today, I'm looking forward to seeing. Played it nice. Very nice. Would you credit it, eh? Yeah, it gives a cut quite like that. The caddy kick. Excellent stuff from the porter. Nice little smile. Uncomfortable stars. Get a little bit more flex in your knees, get you a little closer to the ball, and just make absolutely sure that you stay down through impact. Big temptation to look at, look up when you've got one that's difficult. Easier for the under forties than the over forties. Absolutely right. Your fear here, Brandy, that you hit the front lip, isn't it? It's coming out so low, and so hard, and so hot, and so beautifully. One of the best shots we've seen today. Yeah, I agree, hundred percent. Second shot to here, but feast your eyes on this one. His third shot into the par five. He's at minus 10 right now, with the help of a little bit of backspin and a good read from back there, a bit of right to left, moves to minus 12. He's a great wedge player. He's a really, really strong player with his wedges, so, wow, what a time to do that. Well, let's go over to 16. Uh, this short par four, Pablo Lara Tharbal, just off the green, so he's had a go at it. Former champion here. Chipping down the hill for an eagle two. Could he? Yes, he could. 
What a bubble jumping in there with an eagle two at the 16th. Well, the pin's on 36, so this is a best part of 100 feet, 90 feet, there we are. Down the slope, down another little terrace, and then down another one. Oh, this is a glorious touch. No, surely not right into the center of the hole. Bingo. <laughs> Hopefully it's two under, a little chip, you said it was a good angle to chip from, over the little knob and straight into the hole. Beautifully done. Very awkward front left pin at the number nine. The hole plays a lot shorter, but so difficult to get at. That's a dandy of a score. 65 to the par five and Ryan Fox. Look where he's aiming, Anthony. Yeah, tough to putt this. This is pretty quick at the end. Left to right all the way, tracking back. Well, you've got to say what's gone on over the last couple of holes. There's your winner. Uh, uh, yeah, that birdie at number 11 from over the back of the green. Then that hole putt. He has leapfrogged Perez to 14 under par. This has to be a world-class shot. Oh, no. ah! I guess you could call it just that. And what a time to do it. Second shot at 15. Here for Minwoo Lee, who is uh, really turning things around. That at 15. Surely not. Wow, that's just happened. In for an eagle two. After an eagle at 12, he is 10 under par for his round after an opening round of 76. Well, I got a bit confused. I thought Ron was down front right. It's long right with an awkward chip, uh, can you believe it? I mean, that was seriously difficult. And it was moving at pace, but you know what? The flag gets in the way, you take it out the middle of the hole. Not too bad a life for Rory, considering the direction he was. He can float this one up nicely to the right landers and let it feed out. Oh, he didn't catch hold of that. This could still work out nicely, though. What's this? Quite like his chances from that. Look at Victor Perez here, third at the par four 16th. Go on. He has. He has. Beautifully done. Three birdies in his last five there. That's a nice move to four under par. Only a couple behind now. A couple of highlights so far today. This was Jordan Smith on his penultimate hole. Par three, pin in the little hollow. And he's found the little hollow. He's found the little hollow. He's found the little hollow. And found the little hole. How about that? Hey! A Jordan dunk. Out to the par five second, Guido Miliozzi. <laughs> well, what a way to start. <laughs> An eagle three for Miliozzi. <laughs> Belting stuff from him. <laughs> Rory has a terrible lie. If he goes at the hole, there's every chance he's going to go over the green. Just plugged. Wow, he popped that up. That is, that is going, I can't believe this. Oh. Oh. Once again, Rory doing Rory things. I think that's the greatest shot I've ever seen. Literally, <laughs> out of that light. Third shot into the final hole for Kilhonan. Oh, into the final hole, literally. Beautiful stuff. Yes, take a bow indeed. Second eagle of the back nine for the Finn. That's a nice way to finish. Of 242 yards to the pin here. Hello. What a strike from Ollison. Mac 
Mackey. At 16, well right off the tee, the par four. Struck it well. Struck it very well. Oh, Ali into the bottom of the cup. <laughs> oh. It was perfect from the fin. They didn't catch the edge. Is it enough? The line's good. Oh, magnificent Hovland. Eight under par, one behind at the moment, and that's a fantastic shot. That was a birdie at the second, then at the par three fourth. Keep an eye on this one. All the way through the valley. That in for a second birdie. McElroy, two under through four holes. Can he make a Sunday charge? Smithliotti hits his second at 15. Tough day for the Italian, but a beautiful shot here. Come on. Come on. Oh, that easy into red figures. <laughs> That's what you win for a hole in one. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? 222 yards to the flag today. 20 on five from the Oh, hang on. Oh, he hasn't. Oh, my God. That was yes. live, folks. That was <laughs> just won the car. I believe that. Kao Tong Lee also going for the driver in the line with the wind slightly off your left. It's just in the right half of that green. You really want to try and hit a high draw. It's doable. How good is that? Very. <laughs> Get in the hole. What a shot that is. Just to remind everyone, this is a par four. Alamaki coming to the turn, 97 to the pin here at the par five ninth. Just dropped a shot at the par three eight. Oh, that's one way to get it back with interest. An eagle three for Valamaki to round off the front nine. Bunker between him and the hole, so he's going to open up the club face and try and play out the flop shot. It's the sort of thing, if you don't get it quite right, you can end up in the trap. How brave is he feeling at this one? Can't cut it fine to the trap. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Sean Norris's heart has just fallen through his shoes. And that's the sort of thing that wins golf tournaments. No question, that was incredible. I didn't think I didn't think those things happened in real life. No, and that, I mean that was you know pitched in the hole, so it was going a long way by. This is one of those golf courses coming back hot off the back of the last two weeks. You do need to adjust. There's so many more scoring opportunities. And here's one at the third, 216 left for Jimenez. And just four off that left edge, not far from here. Wow! 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 <laughs> Miguel. You went a bit Spanish there, Don. <laughs> oh, See. shot that one. From the right hand side, Renato Taratori. Oh, oh my oh. word! I wasn't expecting that. That wasn't staying on the green, that. And just gobbled up by the hole. That's a Brucey bonus. Or whatever Italian for Brucey is. A little bit of gas, doesn't he? Sebastian Soderberg after that fast start over to seven. Rosner with an iron. Oh, the line is very good indeed, but it's a huge hit with an iron, surely. Oh, he's got it there easily. And that's every bit as good as Joost Lauten's shot, just a good lie, but up against the face. 40 yarder. It's a deep one, this one. I haven't seen anybody in it all week. And our leader goes in it. Two holes in a row, he's in the greenside bunkers. It's just smash it as hard as you can with a lob wedge. He cannot see the pin. Having to
to play it with a square face to get the distance. He would like to have opened it up, but that is so well done. Two to go for Hovland. Can he find two more? And on the right side at 17, so front left corner should be the target. What about that? He needs a fast finish. Go Cohonen has reached the 18th hole, hitting his second shot to the par five. Over the sharp slope at the front of the green. Can he draw this one in to get to this flag? Set up an eagle chance. Oh, and boy, can he. What a golf shot that is. Mikko Korhonen, take a bow. And Donaldson is right on that number, right on the bubble. 165 yards he's got to cover here on the 12th. 26 yards on the flag, right about there. Sensational. To watch another DP World Tour video, click here. And to subscribe, click here.